um, answering Instagram DMs and putting up some stories. And I asked you guys what you want to see on my channel here in July. And so many of you responded that you want to see Lancaster County happenings and stores and Amish roadside stands and like what we're doing outside of the four walls of our house. And I thought, you know what, that would make a great video, especially since we have so many fun things coming up here in the next weekend um, and in the coming week or two. So I will take my camera along, show you guys everything. It's gonna be casual and fun. And I, yeah, I'm excited to take you guys with me on all of our summer adventures coming up. These are my blue light glasses. This video is gonna be sponsored by Native. Um, I'll talk more about them later, but <laughs> you need your deodorant, especially in the summertime, and I love Native, so we'll talk about that later on. But right now, I need to get the kids up because we are going to a benefit auction for supper. Um, it is to benefit a Mennonite school. Private Christian education is not cheap, and so um, we like to go support our local Mennonite school when we can. Plus, me and Josh are going to be those old folks. <laughs> We're gonna be the old folks at all the auctions. Like, that's just us, oh my goodness. But anyway, there's so much other fun things we like to do in the summertime, like, like ball games, and we're going to a giant, um, it's called Heritage Days. It's in Intercourse, Pennsylvania. Yep, that's the name of the town. <laughs> Lots of Amish, and so I'll take you guys along with that, maybe some of our 4th of July celebrations. Um, I'm gonna be shopping a little bit too, and yeah, who knows where this vlog is gonna take us, so stick around. I'm excited for you to be here, and hit that subscribe button, and let's get into it. So I think most of these clips are self-explanatory. We came, we watched the auction, we ate good food. We actually went in the evening and then we came back the next day. It was a two day auction. So we had breakfast as well. But I did want to talk a little bit about this next piece. We had an airplane fly overhead and drop candy for the kids. I'm sure a lot of you have heard of this already, but maybe some of you have not. And it's just a really fun way to have a candy scramble for kids. Um, yeah, it was really fun to see the little planes go overhead. You could see the pilots waving and then of course, candy from the sky, how fun. My kids talked about this for weeks afterwards. And yeah, I think it was a fun time had by all and <laughs> I felt like I lived my little childhood over again, you know? Uh, but yeah, let me know down below. Is this something you've ever participated in or your kids? Also, Ryan from Ryan and Friends was at the auction in the morning and we got to listen to him. He actually has a show that you guys can come watch if you're in the area. I think it's at Bird in Hand Stage and he is probably one of the most famous Mennonites that I know. So definitely check him out online if you'd like to see, you know, some of the, you can buy DVDs and stuff from him. He's a ventriloquist, a comedian, he sings. And yeah, it was fun listening to him crack jokes. But just don't pick on anybody specific. I would never pick on my friend Donald Trump. But, 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 you know Donald Trump? Yeah. How do you know him? He gets his hair in the same place I get mine. Okay. <laughs> Point is, I want you to pick on somebody on the other side. All right. I tell a joke about our current president. Not yet. I'm just biding my time. Okay, well, that's fine, yeah. <laughs> Think about it, Lynn. You'll get it. <laughs> Lynn's a couple of horses short of a buggy ride. Is that me? Yeah, okay. It's okay if you're slow, Lynn. It makes the party last longer. <laughs> So sometime when I had stepped away, Josh had went and bid on and bought this doll for Ivani and this thing was worth every penny of the $15 he spent. She sat there and held it for so long and she's been taking this thing everywhere with her. It's not my <laughs> preference for a doll. The eyes don't even open and close, they just like creepily stare at you. But she loves it, she named it Eve and it was one of the best purchases of the day. Okay, we are getting ready to go to Heritage Days. I need to recomb my hair yet, but before we left, I just wanted to quickly talk to you guys about Native. Native is a head to toe body care brand that I have been using for so long, and I wanna work with them as long as possible because you guys really seem to love them too. You always are using my code, so I thought I'd just chat about Native really quickly for all of you new folks. I use their sunscreen, their toothpaste, they have body washes, and my favorite though is their deodorant. 
It is aluminum free, paraben and sulfate free. It's also vegan and cruelty free. And best of all, it smells amazing. So it's always fun picking out my new scents and they actually work, which is a necessity. You're gonna see how busy our life can be in the summertime and you gotta be able to rely on your deodorant. One of my favorite scents is their citrus and herbal musk. I actually have it in their traditional packaging as well as their plastic free packaging. Highly recommend trying this one out if you have not. It smells so good. This one is like more of a bright, fresh, summery scent. Another scent I really like if you are into just like a fresh floral scent is the cactus flower and poppy. This one is amazing and you will love the way you smell. I was actually on a beach trip with some of my friends and my one friend stepped out of the vehicle and she's like, I smell good. Oh yeah, it's my deodorant. <laughs> she had switched to a new native scent and she was liking how it smelled. So anyway, I just thought that was funny. And another scent that I just wanna quickly highlight is their sweet peach and nectar. You can imagine what that one smells like. It's just pretty much like a juicy peach. Like I said, have fun selecting your scents because that's gonna be the hard part. Also, I'm kind of picky with texture of deodorant. Sometimes they're like hard and it hurts to put it on or they're like sticky and slimy. Native deodorant is not either of those things and so I really appreciate that. So three deodorants are normally $36, but if you use my code MeganFox6, that is going to get you them for $24, which is 33% off. And you can also use that code to get 20% off of their toothpaste and their body washes. So yes, this video is brought to you by Native, but honestly, my whole summer, my whole life is technically brought to you by Native because it is truly a necessity. Okay, we are headed to Heritage Days. It is looking kind of rainy, um, but radar says it's not gonna rain anymore tonight, so we're gonna hope. Anyway, Josh, I wanted to ask him while we had this camera turned on, his favorite hobby pastime is golfing. And I know some of you guys enjoy that too. Um, so what is the like, is it, what's like, like the golf scene in Lancaster County? Is it good or is there, is there golfing? Like how, what's it like? What's the prices? Is there options? Lots of options, yeah. I mean, from like living at our house, there's probably, nope. I don't know, eight or nine courses within 45 minutes. Um, maybe even more. Uh, Are they like nice ones? Like compared yeah, to their other kinds. places it's you've actually, been? You know what, it's way more than eight or nine. It's probably more like 15 or 16. It's probably double that. I guess I should count. But no, there's all price ranges. You can golf for 100 bucks a round or you can golf for 20 bucks a round. I will, if I remember, I will put a list of Josh's recommendations down in the description box if you're ever in the area and want to refer to that. Fletcher, what noise are you making? My glasses are on my feet. Your glasses are on your feet. <laughs> your sense of humor. <laughs> This is one of the most authentic Lancaster County events that I can think of. Definitely check out Heritage Days in Intercourse, Pennsylvania. Here I had Josh take a bump shot for me just because I needed to document that. But anyway, yes, this place is chock full of Mennonites, mostly Amish, um, just regular community people as well. And there's always a big volleyball tournament throughout the day. We usually just show up in the evening for the food. The food is out of this world, amazing. And I know sometimes people ask about the Amish and everybody that I've run into has been super friendly. A lot of them actually recognize me and come up and say hi. And they've always been very accepting. I mean, I feel like the Amish are super hardworking, friendly, and yeah, just great people to have around in your community. So the kids got to go on wagon rides and there was a magician there that everybody was, you know, all the kids were all interested in. And like usual there was bluegrass playing in the evening and everybody just like chilled out and relaxed and just enjoyed the beautiful weather and we waited for the fireworks which was obviously the highlight <laughs> of the evening When I thought that the bad was getting worse And nothing was ever going to change <laughs> What? That hurt in my eyes No it doesn't It doesn't hurt your eyes, it's just bright Honey, you've been waiting for fireworks all year So 
so it is Saturday. I didn't get a chance to do any errand running this week. So Josh actually went golfing this morning really early with his friend and then he came back and he is gonna mow and watch the kids. <laughs> I see him right now playing in the sandbox. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna knock out a bunch of errand running that I have to do and I thought I'd take you guys along with me because a couple of them are on the top of my Lancaster County recommendations list. Um, first of all, I'm gonna hit a fabric store really quickly and Lancaster County has some amazing selection of in-person fabrics. Um, it's just because there's a lot of sewers in this community with the Amish and um, just like the plain Mennonites and yeah, I mean I love to sew too so I'm really glad for that. I still order fabric online sometimes but if you're a sewer definitely check out the list in the description box. I will put a whole list of the different places and any notes I have like if one's you know more pricey or better for quilting fabric or that type of thing and yeah then we'll just see where the day takes us. I have a really pretty boutique I want to take you to and um, a home decor store. Let's go and see what the day brings. So let's do a little drive with me section here. Um, Lancaster County also has a ton of antiquing. I'm not a huge antiquer, so I can't give you tons of recommendations, but I know Adamstown has a lot, maybe Reading. Um, that's in a different county, I guess. But yeah, you have to just check that out. We're coming up here past a place called Cornfields where I got a lot of like vintage stuff for my shabby chic wedding. My whole wedding was like the shabby chic theme in 2013. <laughs> it feels so long ago, but I had all the chippy painted ladders and doors and things like that. Also, if you come to Lancaster County, I highly recommend just blocking out some time just to drive around. The scenery is so beautiful and there are roadside stands all over the place. Yeah, you can't get it much fresher than the Amish and Mennonite produce stands that are all along the road selling flowers, selling homemade jarred recipes, fresh fruit and vegetables. Corn is always a huge hit in the area, especially even for us locals. It's some of the best. And you can't come to Lancaster County without trying a whoopie pie, so make sure you do that. Actually, here we are coming up on a roadside stand called Everfresh Produce, which sounds like what it is, a produce stand, but they also have this big floral field where you can go and pick your own flowers. It's a great girl's day type of thing if any of you locals are looking for something. And yeah, you pick your own bouquet and you can enjoy it all week on your kitchen counter or whatever. So this video is not this one long infomercial trying to get you guys to come to Lancaster County. I just know that it's so fun to virtually travel to all kinds of different places that you can't actually get to in person. So this is my little contribution to the whole like travel genre on YouTube. If you get a chance to come to my area, I think you will like it. Um, the traffic's a little nuts. I have to admit in some areas it truly is, especially during tourist season in the summer. Um, I will give you a little tip. You are allowed to pass buggies. Um, sometimes there'll be like a long line of tourists behind buggies and they're just like following them at like seven miles an hour or whatever. Um, you can pass them. I think the technical rule is you're supposed to turn on your turn signal and then pass them and get right back over again and always watch out for the double yellow lines as well. But yes, you can pass the buggies um, and yeah, just enjoy the beautiful scenery as we go off to the fabric store. I hope you guys enjoy this little virtual tour of Lancaster County. Finally, we arrive at Zinx. Zinx fabric has so many different genres, I guess I can say, of fabrics. Whether you're a quilter or a seamstress or you want to make like fleece blankets, they have stuff for upholstering and curtains. But yes, I like to stop in here periodically and just see what's new. It's actually this huge warehouse where you could really spend a lot of time if you wanted to look in each section. But yes, I will leave a list of all my favorite fabric stores in the area. And if you are a seamstress of any kind, you want to check them out. Okay, so I bought a lot of fabric in there. I can't really show any of it to you. It's kind of, I mean, you might have been able to see a sneak peek in those clips, but I think since I'm really close to Twin Valley Coffee, I'm gonna swing by and get an iced latte on my way to the next place. 
My favorite coffees for sure are the iced toddies from Twin Valley where I'm going next or September Farm has a very similar iced Fredo. And then also I like Griddle and Grinds White Mocha. They make all their own syrups and stuff so it's so good. That's an Ephrata. And then Latte Love has really good coffee as well. I will list, like I said, those and a couple more down below. It's always fun to grab a coffee, especially on vacation or when you're out running errands, right? Okay, let's try this. Oh, so good. I got an iced toddy with light on the chocolate drizzle. You can do chocolate or caramel. And I got it with sweet cream. And Twin Valley was actually my first introduction to Nitro Cold Brew. And I've been in love ever since. I will link a whole bunch down below of my favorite coffee shops. Also, some of them have really great coffees and not great ambiance. And some of them vice versa. So I will let you know um, what my opinion is since I'm a coffee drinker. But I only drink iced coffees and like that kind of thing. So um, if you're talking like a cup of black coffee, don't listen to my recommendations. I know nothing. Anyway, I'm going to sip on this and drive another half hour to a clothing boutique that is so cute. I know so many people that drive far and wide for this place. You can shop online, but in person it's even better. I mean, these shots kind of speak for themselves. It's just a beautiful boutique that specializes in modest clothing. So lots of skirts and dresses, tops that you can't maybe find anywhere else. I always have a fun time trying everything on and leaving with <laughs> more than I plan to. Also, I have a code right now that I can put on the screen, Megan10, and until the end of this month, that's going to get you 10% off. So take advantage of that if you are looking for something on their website and you decide to buy something, it'll get you 10% off. Or I'm sure if you mention it at their store, they would be happy to honor it as well. So needless to say, that was successful. <laughs> this whole bag here of stuff. Um, but I think I'm gonna be good now with my thrifted pieces from um, Thread Up, and I have stuff from Inherit Clothing Company, and now I just have a few more basic pieces. I think I will be good till the end. We'll see how big I get, but I think I will be fine. I'm so excited. Um, I told myself that I just took my pregnancy with Fletcher for granted just because I got pregnant so quickly after Ivani and I was busy with her. Um, and now it's been a break for a little bit, and I just told myself that I'm gonna enjoy it so much, especially with the anxiety I was dealing with at the beginning. I was like, I need to soak up every stage. And so I decided that I'm going to embrace the whole, you know, being pregnant. Um, I think sometimes I get in the mindset of like, oh, well, you know, men and nights we have five kids, six kids, you know, whatever. It's nothing that special. But honestly, you never know when it's your last time. You never know, yeah, how special it really is. So I decided I'm going to enjoy it. I, I may, you never know. I may never be pregnant again. And if I am, I'll have these clothes to wear. They are basics and staples. Um, I tend to like only have like a small capsule wardrobe when I'm pregnant and then I just like wear things out. You know, you get so sick of them or they actually wear out. So I feel like every time I do get pregnant again, I still have to buy a few more pieces. So I'm having so much fun out here. I'm listening to some Farmhouse on Boone as I'm driving around um, her podcast, Simple Farmhouse Life Podcast, I think. Anyway, and sipping on my coffee, I have another place to stop at next, beautiful home furnishings, and they have a website. I will link it down below. Um, Mennonite Run, and yeah, I just cannot say enough about this store. It's Magnolia Homes, but better, I think. I mean, I've never been there, so I guess I can't say it's better. It's smaller, but they have a ton of stuff. Um, and they have a whole corner that I like to call my Megan corner. It's like very boho, but for the most part, it's like modern farmhouse. So you'll see, we'll get there and I'll show you some clips and I'll show you around.
inspiring. I actually only came away with some pompous grass. Um, I was going in there to look for a leaning like wall mirror because the mirror we had broke. I don't know if it was Ivani who knocked it down or if it just knocked down on its own, but the glass shattered. So he either, Josh needs to either get me a new like mirror to put inside the frame or I can just buy a whole new mirror. Um, so I'm kind of pricing it out, but they didn't have any leaning mirrors and there are tons of pretty baskets, tons of pretty shelf styling items, candles. So, so wow, well, just so much stuff. And actually they have my exact sofas that I have in my living room in there, just in a couple different colors. I feel like they have a lot of great pieces that you can incorporate with a lot of different styles. Like I would not say that I am like modern farmhouse at all. I like more the boho style, but they have tons of stuff that easily would blend in um, with how I like to decorate. <sighs> I controlled myself though. There was nothing in there that um, I absolutely could like envision where I wanted to put it. Um, I feel like I can always sit there and invent places to put things, but um, yeah, nothing was absolutely a necessity. So I decided I'll wait till I actually have a specific area in mind that I'm styling. And then I can come back and today was so fun. They actually are giving out free ice cream to celebrate summertime. Anyway, definitely a must see if you're ever in the area. As far as home decor stores, we have all like the TJ Maxx's, Home Goods, um, at home, all those places. But this place is pretty unique and I definitely think it's a must see if you're in the area. Okay, so it is a Tuesday morning and I am headed off on a bunch of errand running and I'm gonna stop in at Farmersville Auction quick and I decided to add this into this video because this is a place that not even all the locals know about and I'm gonna put a list down below of all the thrifting stores in the area if you um, ever come to the area and I think you should not bypass Farmersville Auction. I got so much of my stuff for my first home at this auction, they have lots of furniture and just like lots of things. Anyway, just everything you can imagine. Um, and it's on Tuesdays and actually my friends own the place. So it's really cool. Anyway, the way I like to do it is I will often, if I'm in the area, which I live close, I'll just buzz in and see what they have in the morning. And then I'll come back for like the furniture auction in the evening, which starts at six, I believe. But now they're on Instagram. So you guys need to all go follow Farmersville Auction on Instagram. And then every Friday they upload all their new stuff. That they have and lately they've been having like lots of good quality like wayfair furniture type stuff um like modern looking things um not just like the vintage but i like the vintage stuff too but anyway but yeah i will take you around a little bit and see if i find anything i'm just looking for a couple different pieces for the upstairs fletcher needs a nightstand um maybe a bedroom suit for ivani i haven't decided yet depends i know i need a headboard or I'll DIY when I'm not sure yet. I just wanna see what they have. But yeah, Farmer's Hill Auction, check it out. Especially you locals, Tuesday evenings, um, there's always a bargain to be had at Farmer's Hill Auction. So let's see what I can find. So cute, Fletcher. That's so adorable. Oh, wow, these are huge. They're so cool. Lots of crates. I love these for like planters and things. That one's cool.
I love this bench. I wonder what era it's from. Isn't that nice, Bonnie? I think that would be a nice place to, thing to sit at the entryway. So cute. Josh would say it's beat up, but I like it like that. It adds character. <laughs> so, do you guys come to auctions at all? I feel like when you find something at an auction, it's just like, it's a story to brag about for the next 20 years. I don't know, I've gotten like my piano from this auction. Um, we got our sink like for almost free here at the auction for our bathroom. Like um, Josh got a vanity built for it then and it was like, yeah, it's awesome. Anyway, so I feel like it's always like, you know how guys tell fishing stories? Yeah, well, I like to tell auction stories when I find a good bargain. <laughs> Let me know, would you guys ever bid at an auction or is that like, does that scare you? Okay, I saw a bunch of stuff I wanted like for the entryway, but we're not really working on that right now. So I think I won't be back this evening, but I'm gonna keep checking. Like I said, they have everything posted on Instagram every week. And when I see the items that I'm looking for, I will be back. We'll probably make an evening of it, <laughs> get supper and stuff. Anyway, that's it for the Farmers of Auction. Check it out. So we just hopped onto the road. Um, and we're headed to a Lancaster Barnstormers game. I was not gonna include this in this video, but this would be a great thing, a great family-friendly thing to do. Uh, we have not done this much. We did it one time, I think, with Ivani when she was younger. They didn't have games last year. So tonight we're going, and there's fireworks, and yeah, I'll just show you a clip or two of that. Um, it's a nice, like what? What are they, like, what do they consider? What kind of league? Like single A. Single A or something, yeah, I don't know. Label. Every every large town has their own version of the Lancaster Barnstormers, so yeah. That's where we're headed, and it's it's so hard to find something that I'm genuinely excited about, and the kids are genuinely excited about, and Josh is somewhat excited about. <laughs> be good food. Oh, he's going for the food. Fletcher, where are we going? A, a baseball game. A baseball game? Yeah. Yeah. Bonnie, what are you excited about? I'm excited for the fireworks. Yeah. Anyway. I'm excited for the fireworks. You are too? Awesome. Okay, anyway, I'll get a few phone clips while we're there. You guys can kind of see what it's all about. Say cheese! You get to put them on so I can take a picture. Yeah! They fit you so nice. Yeah, I like these. Okay. So this evening was super duper fun. Um, I would not do this again with the little kids because we promised them fireworks and the fireworks of course did not start until after the whole game was over. So it got really late. I think they got to bed at 11, which is the latest they've ever gone to bed. Um, I like to keep my kids, you know, kind of scheduled, but they had so much fun and we had some good ball game food. The barnstormers won. Yay, go barnstormers. Um, and we just sat in the grassy area. The ch tickets are a lot cheaper that way. And, um, but yeah, we sat there and ate our Dippin' Dots and our other food. And Ivani even got to get a picture with the mascot. He's supposed to be a cow in case you can't tell. Um, and yeah, finally the fireworks started, which made all of us very happy. But yeah, they were only like five minutes and they were so late at night. I can't hardly... Yeah, I can't hardly recommend it unless you wanted to stay to, for the whole game anyway because you're such a baseball fanatic. Um, if I would have known how short they were, I think we'd have just left a little sooner. So I wasn't even planning on including this little excursion in our video, but we happened to go down to the Marietta biking trail and just had a beautiful day here. We try to do this at least once a year. It is so so pretty. Um, we just bike on the trail and then the kids, I usually pack extra clothes for them and they just throw rocks in the river along the Susquehanna for, you know, an hour or more. There's pavilions there that you can eat. And if you've ever heard of the white cliffs of Kanoi, that is like these big white rock boulders that you can definitely climb up and just look out. Beautiful lookout. It's a great photo op as well. And yeah, it was just a very relaxing Sunday. What are you doing, Bonnie? That's a big one. Woo, 
switcher. Throw another one. here <laughs> we were just hanging out with my sister in-law and brother um, at water's edge and I thought I definitely want to mention that because it's a great place to go whether you want to spend money or not if you want to spend money they have two different really pretty um, like miniature golf courses and you can get like the legendary local ice cream which is turkey hill ice cream um, it's I think it's good but it's like normal to us now so it's not as special as like some other I think they have fancy ice cream pretty much all over Really? Yeah. It's the East Coast thing, I guess. Yeah, so probably most yeah, of them have had it if they're from Jersey or something. That's <laughs> not that localized. Or if you'd rather just do something for free, there's a really pretty pond. Um, it's a very scenic area. You always see Amish there and buggies going by. There's a windmill and they actually sometimes have alpacas and things you can pet. And of course the highlight for the kids is always to see the koi in the big pond, which always grosses me out. They're so like, ugh feed them and they're like all climbing on top of each other and I, I it's not my favorite and they also have a really big playground area that they can play at for free so it's just a really great place sometime if you want to take like takeout get uh, fast food somewhere along 30 and get takeout and bring it there and eat under their pavilion it's just a really pretty scenic area we've already had dates there just walk around the pond and stuff so I definitely wanted to mention that as well So that is everything. I mean, I could show you so much more. I have a whole playlist that I will link down below of other Lancaster County favorites, restaurants, locations. Definitely check that out and come back next week to see what I'm up to. I have a lot of DIYs and just like fun things planned. Also check out Native down below for your 33% off and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye everyone.